Getting our first look at Ohio Governor John Kasich's proposed two-year budget. Now, the plan would cut the state sales tax a half percent while making more services taxable. It would also cut the state income tax, and only a small increase in funds for local government has some crying foul tonight. Nine on your side, reporter Bryce Hanslinger joins us live from downtown with that story. Bryce? Well, Clyde, Councilmember P.G. Sittenfeld calls uh, Governor Kasich's budget proposal out of touch because while the state has extra money, city governments, like here in Cincinnati, face massive budget deficits. The city of Cincinnati needs to fill a $34 million budget deficit. Most of that money is expected to come from the sale of the city's parking assets something Sittenfeld is strongly against. We're bearing the burden at the local level, so we pay our taxes so that we can keep cops on the streets, so that we can pave our roads, and um, instead they're keeping that money up in Columbus. So I think there's a lot of frustration across the board. Sittenfeld says local governments receive about half of the state funding they did just a few years ago, forcing tough decisions for communities across the state. It's not good governance to say we're going to have the state look good, but we're going to do it at the expense of the cities that comprise the state. Sittenfeld hoped the plan would also include more money coming to local governments. Because I figure he's boasting about having so much money, maybe he's going to give back some of the local government funding that he raided previously. I was expecting to see that didn't, and I'm obviously disappointed. Now, Governor Kasich's budget proposal still needs to get final approval from the state legislature. Sittenfeld hopes some changes are made before that happens. Bryce Onslinger, 9 on your side, live downtown. Bryce, thanks. Now, a spokesman for Governor Kasich tells 9 on your side tonight the proposed budget adds more than $28 million to the local government fund over two years and that the governor's priority is reducing taxes and making Ohio jobs friendly. As part of the budget, the governor also says he'll push to expand Medicaid, part of the new federal health care law. Now, if you want to know how much the governor's proposed income tax would save you, we've put a table with that information on WCPO.com.